What's interesting in this discussion in El Tiempo that you brought up here was the idea of introducing the Latin script to write Judesmo. And at least in, in my experience, it was met with mixed results. I mean, I see in my research, for example, until the Second World War in, in Salonika, at least in particular, that uh, Jews in that community continued to write Judesmo in Hebrew script. They continued to use Solitreo until the Second World War. Um, is that your impression as well, or did in different places the script um, have sort of different kinds of trajectories and fates? Yeah, and partly it was a personal matter, so that, for example, in the newspaper El Tiempo, that newspaper continued, despite this comment from 1894, into the 30s, El Tiempo continued to be published uh, in the Hebrew alphabet, and even when uh, some of the newspapers uh, made the transition with the, with the Turks to the Latin alphabet, uh, particular writers remain faithful to the Hebrew alphabet, among them David Fresco, who continued to choose the Hebrew alphabet when the newspapers allowed the option of writing uh, in the Hebrew or the Latin alphabet. Now, um, we have to take into consideration the fact that in 1860, the Alliance Israelite Universelle was founded in Paris, and their goal was to teach Jewish children um, in the East the French language, and they sort of, they, they strongly uh, encouraged them um, to use French rather than Judesmo and to write it in the Latin alphabet. And from that time on, especially from the late 19th century, and then with the transition of the Turks to the Latin alphabet in the 1920s, the Jews increasingly uh, used the Latin alphabet for writing their language, um, with the result that today, basically, most uh, Judesmo speakers, if not all, uh, naturally write their language in the Latin alphabet. But um, we have hundreds if not thousands of texts, printed texts, in Hebrew characters, and also hundreds if not thousands of documents, manuscript documents, uh, in Soletreo script. And if we don't have people, young people, scholars, who can read the, the, the script, we're going, to be, we're going to have the predicament of having thousands of texts and nobody able to read them. We sort of have that predicament <laughs> so, actually right, right now. So and that's so <laughs> that's why we're here. That's why we're hopefully here. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, encourage people to uh, to get a little interest in, in the Solotreo script and to be able to begin to decipher um, some of these texts.